What's up, everybody? Uh, hey, Randy, you know what I hate? Blueberry cheesecake. No, I actually don't mind that. But being fooled. Oh, did somebody make a fool out of you and you had to go teach them a lesson or two? I don't know. I feel like I made a fool out of myself before, probably, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But it never feels good. I'll tell you that. No, it never does. Being fooled, you know, especially when you find out that's the worst part, you know, especially if it's something you've done for a while. So today, thankfully, in this quick fix, we're going to talk about how not to be fooled. Episode 114 This is the Existential Stoic Podcast. And today, this is going to be a short little quick fix, 10 minutes or less, where we give you some tips on how not to be fooled so no one gets fooled again and everybody can just go about their lives with confidence. Well, it's important Uh, for a lot of reasons. They say that a fool and his money soon part ways. That uh, and people want money, so if you're a fool, you're not going to have much money. <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good one. It's funny too, yeah, because I think you know, and people let themselves get fooled by so many things, and then they end up doing things they don't didn't mean to, or don't want to, or that aren't right for them. So I think this is like you know, it's a good topic because I think there's so much stuff trying to fool us all the time <laughs> with you know with information out there and trying to get our attention. So it's good. It's good to try not to be fooled. Uh, so each got three tips. I'm going to start. Um, my first one is actually that we should seek guides, not masters. So, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, they want to live their best life. They want to, you know, do what's right. Um, so they look for somebody else to follow or to, you know, essentially kind of dictate how they should do things so that they do it the right way rather than thinking for themselves. I think this is a big problem. So you want some, it's okay to find guides, to find exemplary people people you look up to but don't look at them like they have the final say always you know always be ready to think things through and think about it well that's a really good one on another level too like i remember when i was learning about real estate investing they had these robert kiyosaki seminars and it wasn't that he was actually part of it they just licensed his name (laughs) so they were basically just scamming people the whole weekend they were telling people you got to use other people's money rack up all this credit card debt to pay for the $50,000 course. Basically they were fooling people because everybody was looking for a master instead of looking for a guide. Like is it, pay, people were looking to learn from like the highest person, as opposed to just learning from someone a step or two above you, which is a really good technique for learning because the person a step or two ahead of you knows the last two steps and they can point you in the right direction and they're more accessible. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I think. Yeah. Cause the person that's way at the top probably has got their own stuff going on. <laughs> they probably don't care about you. Yeah. yeah. Right, sure. yep. So uh, my first one for how not to be fooled is don't try and fool other people. It's like the golden rule. But literally, yeah. if you're busy trying to fool other people, there's a good chance you're going to get fooled too for multiple reasons. One, because you're busy trying to pull the rug out from someone else, yeah. but also because whatever goes around comes around. And uh, so I think that, you know, you can't, uh, what is that saying? Oh, I forget it. You can't, nah. whatever, but don't fool other people and then you <laughs> won't get fooled. But if you're trying to fool other people, you're going to get, you're going to get fooled yourself. Like manipulators get manipulated. Yeah. People who try and fool other people get fooled. Well, you know, it's funny too. I think it's a good point. Cause I think when you're, you're like in that mindset where you're trying to do something to other people, you naturally open yourself up to it because you make yourself, you know, you think everyone's doing it to you. You get overly cautious and you end up being fooled yourself. What was this it? is what yeah. I was thinking of. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. You know? Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. But if you're busy trying to, to fool other people, you're going to get fooled. Simple as yeah. that. It's totally going to happen. I like that one. Uh, my second one is, you know, I think always ask questions, especially difficult questions. And I think this is important, you know, especially um, I was, you know, I was thinking particularly too, when it comes to like, Things like, you know, um, I don't know, theories out there about stuff, uh, you know, information, what's right. I think it's important to just constantly ask questions because, you know, just trusting, you know, the first thing you come across is probably not the best approach. And if you don't question things, you really have no right, you know, of believing it or asserting it in the future. So you need to ask those questions, keep yourself curious. And that helps you, you know, kind of get some armor against being fooled. Well, that's a great one because the answers that you find in life are totally dependent upon the questions you ask. And if you're getting bad answers, you probably need to ask better questions. So that's a really good one. 
My next one for how not to be fooled is don't open your mouth. You know, most people, they just blah, 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 blah all the time. They prove how stupid they are the instant you meet them <laughs> just by going on and on and on and on and on and on trying to prove to everybody how smart they are. Meanwhile, if you keep your mouth closed, people actually don't know how foolish you are. <laughs> and here's the cool thing is that once you open your mouth and people know you're a fool, well, then you're, you're in for some trouble. But if you keep your mouth closed, then you're not going to get in that trouble because you're not an easy target. People think, oh, he's not saying anything. He might be pretty smart. I better watch out. I also like that one, too, because it's like, you know, it's like. Not just like, you know, saying whatever arbitrary thing comes up in your head, but actually taking the time to think, think things through and choose your words carefully so that, you know, <clears throat> I think it's a good practice because it's just like really about thinking carefully. Right. And, you know, sort of saying what we mean rather than just sort of participating in, you know, nonstop conversation like people like to. So that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> my last one is a. Uh, you know, don't fear walking your own path. I think this is one of the, probably the biggest reasons why people get fooled all the time, right? Is they're afraid of doing things on their own. They're afraid of taking responsibility. Um, but I think, you know, look, we're all going to make mistakes and stuff. So it's not a big deal. And if you can walk on your own path, you don't have to worry about anybody else or anything else. And you'll never be a fool because you'll always be living the life you want. And that's, that's a really good one too, because when you're doing what's right for you, you don't feel the Pre the time pressure, the impatience, because you know you have your whole entire life to do this thing because that's what's important to you. Meanwhile, if you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and you got to get the new car before the next person gets the new car and the new house before the next person, then you're yeah. you're more apt to make mistakes and to be a fool because people know they can just you know right. sell you a false bill of goods. Which brings us to my last one, which is learn, because the more you learn, the more you earn, and most people don't read more than a book a year. And if you read two books a year, you're reading a hundred, like a hundred percent more than the next person. Here's the other part that goes along with it. By, by reading, by learning, you're expanding your mind. And then you get into situations with other people. And there's this saying that if you don't know who the patsy is, it's probably you. Like if you're in a group of people and something's going on, like I think they talk about this in the poker movie Rounders, we're like, oh, yeah, if you don't yeah. know who the fool is on the table, who's going to lose all his money, <clears throat> it's probably you. And the same thing goes pretty much in every situation in life where if you don't know who the fool is, guess what? It's probably you. You should probably learn a little bit more. Yeah, no. And learning is great because I think, you know, it keeps us, it keeps us curious. It keeps us engaged. And also, you know, it really does. I mean, you can actually make decisions for yourself rather than, you know, just watching things happen and not knowing what's going on. I like that one. That's a good mm -hmm. one. All right. So there you go. That's all the tips. You guys, you know, no one will get fooled again. Follow these. That's our quick fix. You know, check us out on YouTube, like subscribe, click notifications to help us out, share with people and, you know, listen to us on all the podcasts apps where we're available. A new episode coming out later this week. Until then, though, later, Andy. Later, Danny. <laughs>